We went to a sale yard before a live auction. They're selling live animals there. I'm saying that it's the slave trade. How are you, bud? Cool. What's your name, mate? Modern day slavery. Modern day slavery. Yeah, yeah, yeah because you're putting, trans you're putting animals in transport and send them all over the, all over the Europe. And yeah. It's a crap. The, I don't mind them selling and buying them. Okay. Uh, providing they treat them respectfully. So they should ride them there and take them home and walk them here mm. and there uh, with respect. Do you think you can treat an uh, animal as a product and also treat them with respect at the same time? Uh, no. Okay. No, they're not a product. Yeah. They're a species. Yeah. It's like me. They're considered property. I know they are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but then human beings are considered property as well. Really? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So slavery still exists in the human context? I just, I, I'm, I just, I just got to uh, Canterbury City Council to sign a modern day slavery charter. Do you feel like we're in the UK, we're slaves as well? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah totally. On the same level as cows, pigs, no, lambs? No, no, that's even worse. Okay. Yeah. We yeah. treat them with disrespect and no respect. Either. So we have laws protecting our rights and liberty and our life. I'm not quite sure we have got all the laws and rights, but uh, animals need more. Because no, we, do we have laws protecting us from murder and slavery? Uh, supposedly, but not. Supposedly, we don't? No, I don't think so. So if someone were to kill you right now, they'd go to prison, no? Uh, I get that. Yeah. Okay, I know where you're going with that. Let's say if uh, someone enslaved you I and agree, then... I agree with that. Yeah. So you, we've got laws protecting our liberty, yeah? And animals have them. And, Anim we, should, yeah. and, we, and we should make the laws for them. Yeah. So how do you think we're going to do that if the public is uh, demanding these animals go to slaughterhouses and be enslaved? Oh, it needs to change the way people uh, think. Yeah. Yeah, it's as simple yeah. as that. Yeah. So uh, I'm not saying everyone should be like me, a vegetarian, but I would say that more people should consider how they eat. Oh, so you don't eat animals yourself? I do not. Okay, interesting. Because yeah. when we were at the, I was just at the live auction inside and they, were, they had a lot of calves there, a lot of uh, bobby calves from the dairy agree. industry. I don't agree with that at all. Yeah. No, so dairy cows, they all get slaughtered and sold off and... But they, they have a very prolonged and awful life. Yeah. Don't they? Because they yeah. just keep on milking, milking, breed, breeding calves, then the calves are taken away from yeah. them. And it just, it's a continuation just for human beings yeah. to absorb vast amounts of cheese, milk and milk. So would you consider the dairy industry the slave trade as well? Hey, it's all, it's all, it's yes. all part of it. So it's exploitation, yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate your perspective on that. Not many people see it that way. That's right, that's fine. Okay. Thanks, thanks brother. Yeah, right, bye. <laughs> pinky. I've got a pinky punch. Maybe he'll have a chat. You want to have a chat, mate? Do you want to have a chat? Have a chat. No, well, no, uh, that's okay. No, no, you're right. Don't be afraid, though. It's just, a, it's just, a, it's just an opinion. Yeah. It's just an opinion, mate. Right. What do you think about the statement on the front? I'm asking people to prove me wrong. Uh, do, you, do you know what a live auction is? Look, I'm 53 years old. I hope I do. Do you know? <laughs> yeah, well, it's where they sell off live animals to be slaughtered and... Oh, right. See, I, I was about to ask you. That's my next question. What type of auctions you're talking about? Yeah. Uh, Sheep and lambs, pigs, yeah, chickens. It's, it's vegetarian issues, so... Yeah. I, I, you know, um, obviously, you know, if... Um, you got what? You got halal, you got kosher ways of... of uh, the way the animals are dealt with. There's, not the best. Method. It's, you know, I, I do think that if, if an animal's going to be put down, it should be probably what? Most, most humane. So if they were suffering or in pain, we should, it would be moral to take them, their life from them? So euthanasia when it's in their best interest? You could have people arguing this way and that way about this issue. And of course, people have been arguing about this thing. Well, well, let's talk about the actual statement on the sign. Do you agree or disagree that live auctioning of animals is the slave trade? Well, it doesn't say, it doesn't say animals, for starters. It should say, to make it more clear. Um, so when I, when I saw live auctions of the slave trade prove me wrong, I would have said, no, live auctions are for like objects, like um, plates, dishes, that type of thing. So in that case, no, that's not wrong at all. I, don't. I had this set up at the front of a live auction for stock for animals yeah we moved it here because there wasn't as many people to talk to they didn't want to talk about it yeah yeah, yeah. well I'm so so in the animal context do you think using animals as property and selling them off is the slave trade well, well it depends how you define slave if you if if, if you say slave in the you know, definition of the word well the definition of the word is is 
my understanding is someone who works for someone and is made to do it, you know, going back to the ancient times, Egyptians, that type of thing, and namely humans instead of animals. But, okay. Uh, so you don't think animals can't be victims of slavery? Good question. Um, I, I, I think, you know, you've got RSPCA, Royal Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. So if an animal is overworked, not fed, this type of thing, not given time to rest, that's cruelty to animals. I was about to say inhumane, but inhumane means what? Dealing with humans, right? Yeah, I'm just talking about slavery. Yeah. Like treating someone as a product, as property, without liberty, without rights to life. Yeah. I know, like, if you treat your slave nicely, that's still slavery. True. I, I, you could twist it whichever way you want. You could turn it. I could, you know, you could argue it this way, that way. You could go into little alleys about it this way. I'm just way. not. I'm not talking about high welfare. Yeah. I'm talking about whether someone has the right to their own bodily integrity, their own liberty, the right to their own life, not to be exploited and killed. <laughs> well, humans definitely do uh, by, you know, by the humans, human rights. Um, but, but. Applying it to animals, I, it's sort of a new would be sort of a new thing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, Do you think we can apply it to animals for the same reasons we apply it to humans? Sentience, they want to live, they want to, they desire freedom to be with their families. Yeah, in certain cases, definitely. I think you know, like dolphins, because they reckon that they're more intelligent than humans. Of course, there's the cruelty to dolphins; they get caught up in the tuna nets. But it's been going on for years, 20, 30 years. So yeah, you can argue it one way or the other. It's sort of a grey, controversial area. Do you think yeah, it's, it's a like, grey area that we, we like whether or not cows are slaves? Because um, let's, let's just have, have a look at the dairy I industry. Don't, I don't, yeah, but I don't, yeah, yeah, because they're locked up and on the machines and farmers have them. Yeah, it's, it's, they're free to run, but then they're brought in and then the, the machines mm. are put on them to milk cows, which, mm. I mean, I did when I was a kid. That was mm. 47 years ago, 46, yeah. I'd go on farms and put milk machines on them, and, yeah. you know, as a kid. They, they don't, like... Cows will be then sent off to slaughter when it's profitable for the farmer, yeah? Well, that seems to be what's done. I yeah. have a feeling I'm, I'm being lured into something where I'm just going to fall down. You don't have to lure her into it. It's just, is, is it objectively true or not? Are animals capable? Uh, can animals be enslaved as well as humans? I, I would say, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the, you know, um, and that's the bit earlier I said about the cruelty to animals. If an animal, say, is overworked, I mean, because like you said, oh yeah, I'll, our cows slaves. I thought, well, cows don't really pull things. I mean, old ox oxen used to, or oxen used to do the work, plow fields, that type of thing. Yeah. Cows don't really do that, but they're on the machines for a certain amount of time. If the amount of time is deemed um, cruel or inhumane as applied to animals. Um, I'm just talking mainly about the property status of animals. They have no bodily autonomy. They don't have any freedom of life. That what Their life is dictated by their owner. Yeah. Yeah. So whether they're working constantly or not. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I haven't really thought about it. Uh, this in depth and in but as prove that statement wrong. It should say animals, live o animal auctions. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate your conversation. No, it's right. You're a very honest person. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You didn't try to, you know, lie, lie, lie about anything or try to justify anything. You're just looking at it objectively. You so could it's good. Simple. And I could come here and I could just play it simple than that, and I could go no. <laughs> You know what I mean? And I would say, why? <laughs> <laughs> Not talking. Okay. Sorry. I appreciate the chat, mate. Thank oh, you. I agree too. Rihanna, my cousin's name's Rihanna. I'm vegan. You're a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, what do you think of this sign here? I agree. Yeah. With you, completely. Yeah. We we're just at the front of a live auction. They were selling off uh, uh, calves and. Uh, Where is it? I don't know that. Was just uh, Ashford Cattle. Um, oh, it? just the one down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Ashford Cattle Market, I think it is. Yeah, yeah. I think so. So do you think this is a, uh, this is an objectively true statement? Yeah. Yeah. It's a slave trade selling animals yeah, to... Definitely. Yeah, Yeah. And we had some of the public walking past saying the same thing. And I don't think they were vegan, it just... Yeah, I think it's hard to disagree with. Yeah. I mean, it just is that. Mm. Yeah. So it's... I don't have to persuade you in any way. <laughs> no. And you, you're, not, you're not trying to prove me wrong, so we've already agreed, but... Yeah. What about your friends? Are they vegans? Um, she's vegetarian. Okay. Um, I think she wants to go vegan, yeah. but um, 
it's hard for at the moment because we're both living at home and her parents both eat meat and everything. Yeah, so, so yeah, it can be a little bit more yeah. difficult. Does she? What does she think about the dairy industry? Would she think that's slavery? Oh yeah, yeah, she's yeah. with me. Yeah, she's she with agrees completely. Her circumstances and allowing her to make her own sort of choices at the yeah, moment but, though. Um, we're going to uni next year, so she's going to go vegan. Then I Woo! <laughs> party. Yeah, exactly. Do what you want. <laughs> Thanks for the conversation, Rihanna. It was lovely meeting Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? What's your name? Claire. Claire? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Claire. Nice to meet you too. So, you're, Rihanna's Rihanna your friend and you yeah. live together in the same... Um, no, so we're just job hunting at the moment. Okay. <laughs> we're taking a gap here, so... So, what do you think about this statement? Do you think it's objectively true? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not great, what, yeah. what they're doing. And, you know, because animals have feelings and they yeah. shouldn't be treated with like kind of the disrespect that people like yeah. treat them with in a way and I just think that I don't know there should be more respect and yeah. things like that. Do you think you can treat someone as property and also treat them with respect? No. <laughs> no. If some if an animal is considered someone else's property there's no way to there's no way to treat them with respect yeah. in that sense and then yeah so we should be treating them how they're meant to be treated yeah. and letting them be free and... Maybe maybe being their guardians yeah. instead of treating them like a resource for us. Yeah, exactly, because we don't, we don't have, we shouldn't have control over them and stuff yeah. like that. We should be treating them the way that yeah. we should, like, yeah. should for the whole... Like if we had a positive intention for them, not just to make money from them, that would be different. We'd be looking after them and... Yeah, and I think that's the reason why people treat them badly is because there's a market for yeah. it. Um, it shouldn't be that way. Mm. Uh, I don't think it's right. So it's the way we view animals that's the problem? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And pe people are very set in their ways as well yeah. but there needs to be change really yeah. do you think the dairy industry is also slavery yeah i think it's bad and um being a vegetarian it sounds weird that i'm saying that but i'm try i try my best to be as vegan yeah. as possible especially with Rihanna being one of my yeah, best friends yeah. you know kind of I, d I do as much as i can but um hoping to go vegan when i go mm. to uni but yeah i don't know um yeah what would hold you back in your current circumstance from going vegan Mostly my family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they wouldn't purchase items in the. Yeah. Basically, okay. that that's about it. I would I would um wouldn't be able to get the stuff that I needed, but I try as much. I mean, I don't drink milk. Yeah. And I try and eat as much vegan stuff when I go out as possible. So yeah. in the circumstances I'm in, I'm trying. So what whatever's in your control, you're trying to eat as vegan as yeah. possible. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting, but it seems like you're you're. Uh, you agree with the philosophy of non-exploitation of animals? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Like, I agree with all of it. There's nothing I don't wow. see as correct. I think it's all, it makes a lot of sense. Well, it's beautiful talking to you, Claire. And Thank I've got you. these little cards here. And um, they're just, it's a, it's a little free vegan challenge if you Thank wanted to, you. to do it on Facebook. And so, Thank you. Really nice meeting you. Nice Take meeting care. You Bye. Take care. See ya. Bye-bye. Very sweet girls. So a live auction to me sounds pretty self-explanatory. Like it wouldn't be a live auction, it would just be an option if it was just objects. Yeah. Not if you agree with the statement. You agree? What type of animal are you? A bear. It's a mute bear. Bears generally can't speak, they don't. They can make sounds. They can make sounds. How's your day today, good? That's good. And have you had success uh, trying to persuade people to eat at the diner? Oh, let me see the menu. I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. Are these made of real animals? She agrees with us. She's already agreed with us. Are these made with real animals? Or are these... Oh, no. Oh no, no, I don't eat real animals. Animals are my friends. Yeah, animals are my friends, not food. Yeah, you don't like eating animals either? Okay. You don't like slaughterhouses? Yeah, me neither. You don't like when, we, we, we just come from a, a sale yard where they were auctioning off scared animals, little calves and bobby calves, sheep, lambs. Yeah, they were terrified. And they're gonna be put in a burger, so hopefully they put on a an option that's made of plants, a plant-based option, vegan option. That'd be good. 
Anyways, nice talking to you. We'll have someone else that, that can speak human. Ha, ha, ha.